Hillary Clinton and the mysterious death of JFK Jr. Of course, this did happen a long time ago, 16 years ago. But it's worth looking over. We're looking at history and the changes of courses of history and every act in our past. Approaching the end of two terms in the White House, the Clintons began preparing for their political future. They focused their attention on developing Hillary as a politician. Even though she had no actual experience in selling influence while they had it, buy now pay later, payable to what would become the Clinton Foundation. Hillary refused to return to Arkansas and suggested the purchase of a home in New York. Yeah, who wouldn't want to be in New York, right? Great place to start off a political career. Hillary refused to turn back to Arkansas and suggested the purchase of a home in New York, which would allow her to run for the Senate in the upcoming election. There was just one obstacle. JFK Jr. JFK Jr. had entered the political scene. New York was electric with the word of JFK Jr. reclaiming his father's legacy. A piece of Camelot was still alive in America, and donors began to line up. She knew she could never defeat the son of JFK in New England. I'm not going back to Arkansas. During a normal flight at 9.20 p.m. July 16, 1999, John Fitzgerald Kennedy Jr. radioed the tower at an airport near Martha's Vineyard, Massachusetts, announcing that he was preparing to land. Seconds after his plane exploded in midair and was witnessed by several people holding local newspaper reporters and attorney, luggage was recovered miles from the crash site, an event that can only be caused by a midair explosion. Five hours after the plane went down, Bill Clinton sent out the equivalent of the Sixth Fleet to find the wreckage, hide it, and the bodies from the Snoopy media, and though JFK Jr. was never in the Navy, and though the families did not consent, Bill Clinton had ordered the cremation of the corpses and threw the ashes into the sea in a quickly planned Navy funeral. No photographs were permitted of the recovered bodies. Kennedy's emergency locator was removed, the cockpit recorder was disabled, and the flight log was taken, all of which is documented in the official investigation report. Behind the scenes, a cover story was concocted. The weather, which was perfect, somehow became stormy. JFK Jr. now had a gimpy leg, and Kennedy was emotional. Reports by the FAA and FBI both concluding foul play was involved. They were buried and all inquiries led to dead ends. In truth, all reports confirmed that JFK Jr. was a highly skilled and careful pilot. The Candy family was furious. New York was heartbroken. All evidence had been destroyed or burned by executive command. She killed him. I know she did, said a Candy staffer who has to remain anonymous. The Clintons bought their home in New York and formed the Clinton Foundation, and Hillary won her Senate seat.